they're having a great day. Today we're going to talk about how to read a solar meter. Now when we first got this installed not too long ago, you would sort of wonder what do all these numbers mean? I see these numbers flash or in cycle and what does it mean? Well that's what we're going to talk about today. Over here we see a little cheat sheet on what those numbers mean. If you could see to the left, it says zero 01 date. If you see zero 01 here, it's going to show you the date. And now we're looking at zero 04. So let's quickly look at this. The first item is the date and the time. And as you go down, it talks about high peak delivery, low peak delivery, base delivery. So 4, 10, and 16 means how much energy you have used from the utility company. 21, 25, 29 means the energy that you have received from your solar panels. And the t number 39 is the total delivered, is the total from 4, 10, and 16. And 71, 72, and 73 are the net. Net pretty much means how much you have used, less how much you have generated. And number 74 means the net of the whole total of the energy usage and let's see what we got here now zero one is today's date zero two is the current time four is the high peak that you have used from the utility company ten is the low peak And 16 is the base that you have used from the utility company. Now, when we go into 21, this is how much you have received. 21, 25, and 29. 39 is the total amount that has been delivered from the utility company. So that's the electricity that you have used. Now, when we looked at 71, this is the high peak. This is the low peak. And this is the base. And the last number, 74, is the total net. Minus 77 is how much the homeowner has used minus the generated electricity equals the net. So this homeowner is minus 77 kilowatt hours. Minus 77 kilowatt hours, that's the total net. So. And we're quickly looking at the solar panels and it's facing the south side of the roof. Well, thanks for watching, guys.